everyone to your solar eclipse for April 8th, guys, April 8th. Okay, this is going to be on the new moon. So this is a solar eclipse and kind of a new moon reading together, right? Um, since they're coming hand in hand. Um, this is when the darkness prevails as the light is covered. That's exactly what's going on when you have a solar eclipse. Okay, so let's get straight into this and we're going to dive deep as deep as possible. Um, getting straight in here, we do have the Holy Grail coming out with the inner discovery, finding a sacredness, you are what you seek. This um, solar eclipse, because the solar eclipse is actually talking about things that are hidden that are now becoming exposed, right? So this is where you're going to allow the truths to be revealed. As we can see here, it's also talking about the Anunnaki light codes, which is an energetic shift, new information coming as you are ending a cycle, right? So how are we going to end this cycle? We're going to end this, this cycle with a time to transform and see things that were hidden from you as things are coming to light. So there's going to be a lot of deep-rooted challenges and problems that you will face and see within yourself. We do have the Chiron coming out over here. The Chiron will be sitting next to the new moon um, on the 8th, right? Um, this is the Wounded Healer. The Wounded Healer says your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or learn remedies right so it's time now to start healing as well and this is where those challenges and problems within yourself are going to start you know becoming resolved and coming to light so it's important information with the star being healing codes with wounds are healed and you are now in a phase of recharging right and this is the collective this is what everybody's doing this is what the this is what the solar eclipse is bringing to everyone right this is what it is it's going to expose all these things, getting the blockages out. If you're causing any kind of doubts and fears that are approaching within your life, right? It is now time to get the clarity and start opening up to yourself to figure out what it is that I can do, right? And things are just going to start coming to you as you're getting downloads, right? Coming towards you, connecting to your higher self. Right. The new moon is also the great time to set intentions. Always. We always know that. Right. What is no longer working? Time to move on from things that are no longer working for you. We're moving on from things that no longer help you. Things that are hurting you. So let's go ahead and clarify on the Anunnaki Codes and the Holy Grail over here where it's saying that Holy Grail is the Ace of Cups. Where things are going to start overflowing within your life things that you can see things are going to start feeling you know intensified around you especially emotions as those energies are coming up okay All right on the situation yes giving and receiving a time for fairness a time to feel that prosperity a time to share a time to weigh those options, a time to get in there, reflect on what it is you need to see the truth in, having that truth be told, be known, right? Starting to see the answers, starting to unfold around you, right? Also feeling very grounded about the situation as you are grounding your energy in this time as well. So you might feel like you're a lot more grounded, that's for sure. Right. Especially, if, you know, it's like anytime the truth starts coming, you're almost like, hmm, OK, hold on a second. What's really going on over here? <laughs> right. April 1st, we had Mercury started going retrograde, too, guys. So I will get that video out as well. And this is going to have a lot to do also with that Mercury retrograde as well, which is really crazy. Right. Because it will start pulling things back from the past so that you can see them as well. So you have a lot of different energies coming out and we have 10 portals this month, right? So it's like, okay, what are we doing over here? Okay. Also remember that the solar eclipse could also create a lot of drama behind the scenes. So through the subconscious, we'll also have the clarity, you know, after the darkness and be more woke feeling. Yes. As you are feeling like you're at the finish line over here, where you're feeling like you're getting back to your roots, four of wands, the roots, the roots of your being, right? 
getting back to a place of consciousness from your unconscious feelings, feeling big turbulence too and changes around. And those are also going to come not just from the solar eclipse, but also remember that Mercury being in retrograde as well, of feeling like you are going to all of a sudden have this courageous feeling, just boom, here comes the courage. Just this very intense, intense feeling, wanting to have more self-care. And that's, you know, where the, the Chiron's going to come in. It's going to say, you know what, this is where the self-care is going coming in. Moving into a, a better direction, feeling more willpower, having more control over the situation, getting more grounded once again with the Ace of Pentacles, feeling those opportunities coming around, right? Ooh. Where you might have felt like you had lack of confidence, all your confidence is coming through with the Queen of Wands over there. So it's saying this is where you might have felt like you had lack of confidence, but the Sharon's going to push you through. The Sharon is the Nine of Wands. It is the wounded warrior in a lot of ways, right? Because it's saying this is where you are got the healing power coming through. Uh, the wealth, feeling like you're wealthy, abundant, sitting on your own throne. The questions that need to be answered will be answered within truth. Comfortable feeling, generosity, bring yourself back to where you feel like you're in your comfort zone, sowing the seeds, getting the rewards for May, feeling like those May rewards are coming through, but watch your exhaustion. You might have start feeling a little exhausted because of that strong, courageous um, energy that's coming through, right? But it's okay because in the end, you're going to say, look, I, I know where I'm coming from. Right. And I know that I'm rebuilding. I know that I'm healing. I know that I'm forced to make these kind of decisions, but I'm not going to shy away from this situation. Right. I want to push. Definitely want to push out everything. OK. So. I am going to dive in deep over here just for one second. We're going to bring in the signs for you guys. OK. Your elemental signs only. Okay, so <laughs> we've done this before. You guys know how this. If you guys are new, this is this is where I take the elemental signs. I throw them into certain videos, okay, that are collective. And this is saying you are an air sign, right? Water sign, earth sign, or a fire sign. And let's see what the collective says. Which area of your life is being impacted through that element? If you guys are my cusps, okay. Let's say, for instance, you are a Pisces Aries cusp, my beautiful Pisces Aries cusp. You are born on the side of Pisces, then you are water. You're going to look at that water that I tell you, and then you're also going to bring in that fire from the Aries. I guys, also, this is very important that you are using your moon. So if you do, new, do know your moon, the moon will be very important for you. I am Libra moon, so I'll be paying much attention to my air so it's going to be your sun sign and your moon sign. Why? Because we're talking about solar eclipses. And also, your north and south nodes will also be a big role in that as well as we're talking about those karmics. Um, because the nodes are a part of the moon. Okay. So if you know those, this will also be very important. Okay. But for the majority of you, let's just get in here and see. I will call them out just in case. Some people don't know what the element is. Okay, so we're going to start over here with air. Air is for my beautiful Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, starting with you. Best message coming out for you of what's going, to, you know, to be taking place, what you need to look for, forward to during this solar eclipse. How is this going to affect you? What is the best message for you? Remember, this is the overall collective for everyone on this planet, and this is for your sign and how it's going to affect your element. Gemini, Libra. Blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So Spirit says, for all air signs, watch your, your blame. Ex you know, accept the responsibility for your own self. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. It's, this is your journey. This is your time to worry about what's going on around you at this time. Why? Because of the healing. Why? Because of the power. Why? Because of the truth. Don't worry about the blame. Okay. And we're going to grab another card. These cards are very important during this time. All air signs, please. Spirit of the bear coming in. 
at 396 hertz. Okay, so we're going to read that really quick. The spirit of the bear is... Okay, what's that number? 15. Fifteen. This says, you are being healed from guilt and fear. Such emotions will no longer steal your potential power or dissuade you from confidence, happiness, and realizing your own worth. No matter how unlikely it may seem, you are going to emerge from a spiritual winter into light and life. The divinely ordained time for your liberation, healing, and emergence is much closer than you realize. Abundant blessings are striving and shall soon manifest for you. And that is what's going on. Ooh, the power of the solar eclipses are so amazing, right? Okay, so that is exactly what it's talking about. Okay, during this time for a healing process, you can find a place to lie down comfortably on your back with your arms and legs slightly apart and your head slightly elevated so that your neck is comfortable. If you tend to cool down as you relax, as many people do, cover yourself with appropriate layers. If you have a health condition which prevents you from lying down, seat yourself comfortably and say this prayer. I invoke the healing frequency of unconditional love and wisdom of the Divine Mother or Universe. Take that on who you speak to, please. Okay. May my body, mind, and soul be sheltered in a sanctuary of protective grace to fully relax and deeply heal. Because remember, this is a solar, this is a solar eclipse. We do have Sharon on here. It is a time for healing, releasing healing so that we can become the better virtue of ourselves. <clears throat> Beautiful. Now, okay, my friends, going on to water. You guys can always mark these, okay? I'm not going to mark them in the video, and I'm going to tell you why. Because if you guys don't get this first piece and people come and only watch what's going on here, and they only go straight to that element, they're going to miss this whole piece here, and then the elements over here are not going to make any sense. Think about it. If I didn't say what I said over here in the very beginning, you wouldn't understand what the hell I was just talking about. Why would it be so important? Because you have to understand why, right? So I'm not marking that, okay? Water, okay, this is for the beautiful Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And remember, for my cuspers, guys, make sure you're using both signs, okay, just in case. And then your moon. So also, whatever your moon element is, that's why I'm going to say them as well, so that way you know. If you don't know that, you can always Google it, okay? Put it in and it will tell you what it is. For uh, the beautiful water signs, <clears throat> The message for you during the solar eclipse is humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Stop being so serious. Now is not the time to be so serious about everything in the world. It's telling you settle down and not be so serious about situations. Okay. That seriousness is going to hold you back in, this, in the end. Why? Because you're holding on to things too tightly and too serious. Okay. Allow yourself to heal. Allow yourself to love of laughter, of joy. Just enjoy the process. Don't hold so tight. Um, we have Archeon of Barbello. And this is not going to be number 10. Okay, so number 10 in the book. Very important. Number 10 is talking to the water signs about your biology and gender are a creative and powerful means for you to express your soul path. Sometimes you may feel limited by gender constraints or stereotypes, but your spirit can never be restricted or controlled. Embrace your journey of what feels like to be you in your own body. There is much benefit in healing to be gained through the embrace of your life journey, including the deeper experiences of the absolute freedom of your own spirit. This is where your purity comes into play and your truth of your own well-being. This is your journey. This is about you. This is about your truth. Okay. She also helps us to understand how our androgynous, oh my God, now I'm going to be able to say that word. Spirit, essence, it can embrace masculine and feminine 
energies to accomplish its higher purpose. This spiritual essence is beyond gender and is not altered by any other way. When in connection to... Why can I say it in my head, but I can't say it out loud? Androgyny? Is that what I'm saying, right, guys? Of the spirit is experienced authentically. There is no rejection of the biology of the body nor the gender-based experiences that the soul has chosen to fulfill the spiritual mission. This allows for the mercy, forgiveness, and wisdom that starts with what is and holds space for evolution in what can be. Aha! Okay. This one says, for the healing process, connect consciously to your breath as it flows in and out. Become fully present in this moment. When you are ready, rest your hands in prayer against your heart. Sense your feminine energies in your left hand and your masculine energies in your right hand. Feel them intermingling. There are different from each other, yet equally power in and important. So this one's just pretty much saying, you know where your journey is. You know who you are. Don't let people tell you that you can't do this or can't do that. You know exactly what I'm talking about, right? So, <clears throat> okay, going on to the next one. That's just, you know, and it's true though, too. You know, we have both in us. You know, we are both feminine and masculine for some reason, right? It's pretty much, there's something going on there, okay? Something going on. Okay. about that situation i'm also going to grab one of these healing cards too just in case that doesn't work with everybody okay i don't know why but i feel like that one might not work with everybody i don't know why okay so the next card coming out would be the seven blessings of eve you get a lot of feminine energy coming through anyways over here my water signs which really doesn't surprise me the seven blessings of eve is pretty much just saying the same thing in its own way Listen to what it is that you truly need for yourself. Understand where it is you're coming from. Understand the process of what is going on. A spiritual gift shall enter your heart and manifest as a blessing in your life. You have innate talents and abilities which will support your soul into full, glorious manifestations. You have been blessed with a beautiful divine destiny to fulfill. You have natural healing ability. Choose your thoughts and words so that they reflect what you truly wish to put out into the world because your influence is stronger and further reaching than you realize. That's so crazy because it's still talking about the knowledge and it's still talking pretty much about the same thing it's already kind of talking about, just in a different kind of way. Very beautiful. Going on to the next one, Earth Signs. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Best card coming out for you guys is... Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So right now is a good time to forgive yourself, forgive others, so that you can continue to have, and this card fell out with it, relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good so that you can have the better relationships that are going on within your life, right? You can have these things. These things are going to help you, okay? So over here at my beautiful earth signs, it says you have. Mandela of the heart, 528 hertz. Okay. The Mandela of the heart is look, number 17. Sometimes aspects of your life fall apart and don't go what is planned. This is so they can come back together in a beautiful new way. Trust in the goodness in the inevitable blessings of your destiny falling into place. Do not trust your fears. Put your faith in the love of your heart. A heartfelt wish is going to manifest. Ooh, the Mandela of the heart is the expression of the divine feminine power within you. It is the life-changing experience of love and healing. Compassion, deep repair, and restoration. So that you can only happen when we feel safe and loved enough to truly let go. Ooh, the healing process over here is take a moment to consciously connect to the flow of your breath. Listen to your breath as you breathe, okay? That will also allow you to clear the mind. Let the breath flow in and out as allow yourself to deepen and lengthen the breaths, especially the exhaling. Lightly place a hand over your heart with the reverence and aspect, or excuse me, and respect. Allow your awareness to travel on the breath, going deeper and deeper and dropping into your heart. You can feel, imagine, and see and in 
pretend that your heart is a sacred temple, a beautiful place filled with light and space. I would say when you do those two guys, remember that you can visualize seeing your heart. Okay. That way you feel everything going into it. And then all of a sudden you can kind of feel that organ moving, right? The more you visualize, the more you put in that visualization. Beautiful. Okay. So it looks like we, I see exactly what's going on. Everybody has a, a role and a key here when it comes to these elements, right? Fire signs. Universe wants you to understand at this time of the solar, the solar eclipse that you are needing to have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life, knowing that you have the indecision. Do keep yourself balanced as much as possible, right? Use your intuition. Use it. Let it come. Let it help you. Let it, right, be your guide. Listen to what it has to say. Listen to those gut feelings. And overall card for it, please, is Queen of the Nagas. Queen of Snakes. The Queen of Nagas is the Queen of Snakes. Naga means snake. <clears throat> Five. A sacred task exists for you to fulfill. It is found through connection to your heart. Be open only to those most authentic techniques teachings which provide and prove helpful to your continued spiritual progress and personal freedom. Cleansing your body, mind, and soul will be a particular benefit at this time. Ooh, believe that there are many positive synchronicities and unexpected allies that will rally to support you at this time. Guys, watch for those people coming into your life. Those people want to come in. They want to support you. They want to help heal you, right? They want to be there for you. Um, the healing process here is you may be, you may like to pour yourself a glass of water, bless it and love from your heart with gratitude and peaceful thoughts, and then drink it as a sacred liberation. You may never consider a glass of water to be ordinary again. You can then say this prayer aloud. May all the waters be cleansed, protected and blessed for the greatest good. Okay. And it says, I open up to the unconditionally generous compassion and wisdom that protects and guides all true paths. May the positive presence of light be awakened within me. May I then there surrender by divine protection and spiritual. Oh, one page. Hurry. Grace. Oh my gosh, say it again. May I be surrounded by divine protection and spiritual grace. May I effortlessly attract all that is needed for my highest good, for the spiritual benefit of all beings. And that is how we make the holy water in its own way. Right, then you hold the glass with both hands, you say your, the blessing, and then you drink the water. Why? Because you've now energized water. Okay, those are spiritual practices that you can do during what? The solar eclipse. I love that because these are the blessings and the, and the rituals that you can do during, those, during that time. Okay, to help cleanse and heal. Okay, and that was it for you, my friends. I hope you enjoyed that. I try to do it a little bit different this time. And may each and every one of you have a blessed solar eclipse. Um, don't worry, I'm pretty sure it's not the end of the world, as people want to say it. But I will tell you one thing. This will be the end of it being in the United States for the next 20 years. So there you have it there. Till next time.